The family of a man killed by Albuquerque police say police chief Ray Schultz should never have hired the officer who fired the fatal shot, and they're suing the city. Here's News 13's Alex Tomlin. This is the lawsuit. It all stems from what happened outside this house near San Mateo and Candelaria in May. Officer Sean Wallace shot and killed Alan Gomez after responding to a 911 call by family members who said Gomez was holding them hostage. Gomez, who had stepped outside to talk with officers, was holding a cooking spoon when he was shot. Wallace said he thought that spoon was a weapon. Gomez was the 16th of 20 people shot by APD since January of last year. The family suit claims APD should have never hired Wallace in the first place because of his history as a state cop. In 2004, Wallace shot and killed an unarmed man during an undercover drug deal. The suit also says Wallace beat up and falsely arrested a man who later sued the state and settled out of court. Wallace was also investigated for bilking the state out of thousands of dollars in 2007. Investigators say he put in for pay while he was taking law enforcement classes, classes that a private security firm was also paying him to teach. Wallace quit state police before he could be fired and joined APD. The city attorney's office said they cannot comment on the specifics of the suit, but did say that all officer candidates, whether new or switching departments, go through a vigorous background process. It also made it clear that APD changed its hiring processes after an independent review of the numerous officer-involved shootings. The review made suggestions on how the department can improve. Alex Tomlin, KRQE, News 13. Officer Sean Wallace was involved in another APD shooting in 2010 before the Gomez incident. Wallace shot Wayne Cordova, a suspected thief who police believed had tried to break into a car at Sandia High School. Cordova was pointing a gun at his own head while standing on a roof near the high school. He survived that shooting.